Hi, this is Mike from Revolution Imager today. Today we're at the beautiful uh, cliffs of Dana Point Harbor. We're over, actually overlooking the harbor. We're on Dana Point itself. And uh, today what I want to do quickly is just show you how to hook the Revolution Imager up to uh, an astronomical telescope for daytime viewing. So here is the Revolution Imager right here. And basically all that we're going to do is we're going to take all of the pieces out here one by one and attach it to the telescope. So it just goes right on here like this without having anything fall would be great. Like this. There you go. That's right. This is the quarter 20 adapter. We're also going to put the uh, reducer on here so that we can find an object. This is the bottom of the camera where the quarter 20 thread is. So I'm going to take the eyepiece out the camera. We're going to take this, plug it right into the eyepiece holder of the telescope. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go for the umbilical cable. This is kind of the cable that does everything. Here it has all the different attachments on it. And you can see here this is the coax end. The coax end is one of the first pieces that's going to go right on the back of the telescope. It has two little Frankenstein uh, nubs right there. You line those up and it locks right into place. The other side is power. The power cord is going to go right here. Uh, and then we have the coax cable. The coax cable is the piece that goes to the monitor. This is a directional uh, um, pin, so you just rotate it until it pushes in, and then that's ready to go. Now all we have left is to get the battery. This is the uh, charged up uh, lithium ion battery, and we're going to find the holder for this. Now these cables you can uh, manage in a number of different ways. Uh, if I was smart here earlier, I would have grabbed the uh, tray for the telescope, which goes right here. Most telescopes have something like this, and you could undo all of this excess cord and put this down on the tray, or maybe have a little table right next to you. But at this point, all you have to do is turn it on, and then everything else here springs to life. So here's an interesting object. Uh, I don't know if you can see at the very end of the pier out there, so here, let me get back here, and I want to show the people how far away that really is. Right, like zoom in to the very end of the harbor, right there. That's right at the very end of the harbor. Okay. All right, so we're looking at a uh, uh, outrigger kayaker here. I don't know, this guy is maybe half a mile away. Uh, and then if you come over here and look at the screen. You're getting a reflection, I think. Mm -hmm. is which guy is it it's hard to even see which one it is isn't it oh I see him he's right right there 